Afternoon, everyone. I am so excited to be here. Beautiful crowd. A um, little background. I come from California. I'm at the Google headquarters in uh, the Bay Area in Mountain View. Um, as Yash had uh, mentioned, I lead our global go-to-market for RCS from a business messaging perspective. It's been a lot of my time obsessing over the experience here in India, in Brazil, Mexico, Europe, United States. And um, this is a new technology. It's an upgrade over SMS, built with the carrier ecosystem, the GSMA, and something that is going to bring messaging into the modern age. So let's get started. So this is probably a fact that we all know. As consumers, we live in our smartphones. Banking, retail, social, everything. And if you look at any statistics, the most frequently used app in the smartphone tends to be the messaging app of the user. That is the hot seat within the phone. We are, as humans, uh, creatures of communication. And so uh, that, you know, we live in smartphones and we live in the messaging client within those smartphones. However, uh, trust of messaging, particularly from businesses, is starting to erode. Why is that? Uh, SMS phishing, abuse, lack of trust of who that message is coming from, that then starts to break down engagement. If there's a legit message, you have a URL or some sort of call to action, the user doesn't know if they can trust that. And this is starting to spill out into the press, and this is starting to undermine business communications in the most used app within the smartphone. So with RCS, we have a solution. Um, and before I get to that, that solution allows as you as marketeers, business owners, to not only communicate with trust and safety with your consumers, but to do so in a medium that allows you to stand out and cut through from a crowded um, media area. Your consumers receive so many messages on a, a daily basis, this allows you to cut through from an engagement perspective as well. And what is that? That is RCS for business communications. Uh, and with this experience, the, what an app does and what a messaging channel does, the barrier between those two start to blur. As you see here, um, what SMS does doesn't do any of these things, well as RCS does. And with RCS, it's again the native messaging channel within the Android phone. And as Apple has announced publicly, will be Apple and uh, that ecosystem will be implementing RCS as well. This starts to make it such that within the smartphone, the native messaging channel within the smartphone, you can do things in a messaging channel that you used to think you could only do in an app channel. And so this allows you to do engagement, communicate with trust in a way that you never could do before, all in every phone uh, in anyone's pocket. So this is built with trust and safety from the very foundation. Uh, so you see in one example, like what SMS looks like, the other one you see what RCS looks like. Branding is front and center. The user knows who's from. And then with that, then we also are able to do things that then take advantage of that uh, trust and safety in a way that makes it engaging and useful for the user. Um, some things that call out that are kind of subtle things about it. Brand verification identity is built such that the operator, the carrier ecosystem, regulated entities can do that at scale. So that this is a trusted channel from that sense. Um, it's also built with safety and surf, um, technology certifications in mind. It's built within the GSMA, which is a kind of an organizing body within the mobile operator community. They have working technology working groups. These working groups create 3G, 4G, 5G, RCS. So we work with those groups to create the spec, working with operators around the world and technology providers uh, to create this, this capability that then is becoming an industry spec. And then it brings some of the best magic from Google uh, with the safe browsing technology. Uh, that's the same URL scanning that you get in Gmail as well, built within the channel. So what does branding mean from a consumer perspective? Our research shows that consumers have way higher sentiment with branded messaging than impersonal non-branded messaging. That's pretty obvious. And that sentiment leads to purchase journeys that I would assume a lot of you would like of likelihood to recall, likelihood to recommend, and likelihood to purchase. So starting with simple branding in your messages has these, uh, these extra effects there. And 
besides you know, an upgrade over SMS, uh, bringing it into the modern age, I would point out also that may, many of you may use notifications, which are great, but they're ephemeral. And so with ephemeral messaging, it's not persistent like messaging, like in a RCS or SMS messaging. So it's persistent in the user's inbox with your logo where the user can pick up the conversation when they need to. And it's there along the messages with family and friends so that you become a close tie of that user in that relationship as well. And so that allows you to put links in the redirect into the app as well as download the app and also allow the user maybe to engage with your business through messaging, which might be more natural for them than through the app at times, and allow you again to blur that line between what does a messaging channel do and what does an app do. A lot of uh, capabilities in here. This is made to be rich and engaging. So you have the ability to uh, auto preview URLs. We are making URLs safe again in that sense. In many uh, messaging channels, users are scared to click URLs. I can't tell you how many messages I get back in the United States from the tax authority, from my, my uh, mail company, all wanting me to click URLs that are spear phishing URLs. This now makes your URLs very clear that it's from a legit business for a legit purpose and it then has the preview of the URL with the thumbnail. And we're also doing background URL scanning to also make sure everything is fine. It comes with engaging formats, cards and carousels. You can put videos, images and things in there. A user can browse and it's very engaging in that sense. You can have links in there that link out to third party payments and other activities that users would typically maybe be worried about clicking. Now it's no problem. You have the ability to share documents, media, PDFs, both directions, and you have location services as well. So again, this blurs a line of what an app does and what a messaging channel does. And it's built with some of the greats and smarts from Google. You can push calendar reminders or calendar entries to users. Um, as you saw in the news, Google had an announcement about Google Wallet in India yesterday. So now it also has um, the integration with Google Wallet. It comes with also maps and um, also the ability to do dialing and also Gen AI capabilities. Um, a lot of businesses are adopting this today um, across India, across Europe, Latin America, US, a lot of big recognized entities. Uh, and they're using it for their transactional messages, their informational, promotional in ways that they are getting engagement way beyond what they would see on traditional messaging. And now they're even doing head-to-head -head tests with OTT messaging as well. A few examples. So those of you who are coffee drinkers probably know N Nespresso. Nespresso in France uh, uh, did a, a uh, study of moving their messages off of SMS onto RCS and they had dramatic uplift in both click rate and conversion rates. And you would say that like the experience as well, that this experience is a lot more engaging than just getting an SMS. The other example is uh, Casas Bahia. For those of you who don't know that, this is one of the largest electronics retailers in Brazil. So with Casas Bahia, they are built an experience that is very engaging. It almost feels like a website or like an app itself, user can browse and purchase. And this experience has given them read rates, click rates, and conversion rates way beyond they could ever have hoped to have with leg legacy messaging. And they themselves have been doing head-to-head -head tests with other OTT channels and seeing return on campaign spend many times more ROI than what they would get on other channels. So they're seeing a uh, great conversion and campaign return that they would have never thought possible uh, on traditional or OTT uh, uh, messaging. But you don't have to start with the most advanced thing that Casa Bahia has or something like what Nespresso has. It could be as simple as taking your current SS SMS messages you're doing today, putting your logo there, previewing your URLs if they're there, and communicating to your consumers in a way that they trust that that message is truly from you and then grow that sentiment with that user in that sense. And so you can do something as simple as this uh, large office um, supply retailer in Brazil on, the le on your left and walk your way over then to something much more advanced over time. And I would just close is with this new technology bringing SMS into the modern age with trust, with high user sentiment, engaging capabilities, rich features, 
I would ask in this audience, why are you still sending SMS? Why are you still, why are you broadcasting in black and white when you can broadcast in HD color? In your, in your marketing messages, your informational and transactional messages. And the team here at Mo Engage is more than happy to help you make that transition. So I would just say, you know, thank you for the Mo Engage team for having me. I'm thrilled to come out here to India and uh, hope to have many more opportunities to come and see you again. Otherwise, thank you.